on Power Talk today. It's a fascinating conversation and like the ones we have had here on the program before. I'm so pleased to introduce to you Dr. Kennedy Carson Opio, who is the CEO of the Lake Basin Dental and Orthodontics Center. Dr. Carson, thank you very much for making time for us. This is an interesting space you have here. Um, I'm really interested in understanding the dental and orthodontist space. Um, talk to us about how that has evolved over the last couple of years. Dentistry as a whole has really evolved in the sense that in the olden days we used to have uh, when, for example, your tooth is painful, you'd go to the dentist and they would just pull it out, okay? But you see currently you can even implant a tooth once it is out of the, like, for example, if it ac accidentally comes out of the, you know, of the mouth, you can actually reimplant it immediately within 24 hours if it is preserved uh, the way it should be. Yeah, so it has really evolved. And for example, right now, if somebody loses all their teeth, they can have, still have the teeth, a permanent uh, uh, solution for the same, which can actually be done within a very short time. In some places that are developed even within one day, mm. you can have implants and they can be fitted with crowns on the very, very day and you will be able to, you know, so there's live been, normally. So there's been the employment of technology, right? A lot. Yeah, yeah a yeah. lot. Um, dentistry, orthodontistry, I mean, I think uh, if we talk about it, perhaps it was meant in our olden days for children. <laughs> it was children who were taken to the dentist. What sort of clientele do you see coming to see you now? Well, uh, as you know, most 80% uh, is ladies because they are so conscious of their smiles. I would say 10% children, uh, but um, out of the 80% um, of the ladies, I would say 70% are also young, yeah, below 18, because they are uh, conscious of how they look. Yeah, so that's the demographic. All right. Tell us about the work that you do and uh, how you've come to be in this business. Well, uh, this st started back when I was in uh, campus. I was one of the few uh, students who were lucky to be selected to fly to the United States uh, for uh, electives and to North America, yeah? specifically Indiana University uh, Dental School. So I got the interest in um, orthodontics and generally cosmetic dentistry when I was in, the, in Indiana. I learned a lot. I, I, I realized that the kind of dentistry probably that is, was being done in Kenya then was the olden type of dentistry. Yeah, so uh, that gave me the exposure and the, the, the entrepreneurial spirit because the, 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 the scale in which I saw dentistry being done in Indiana, specifically in the US, was very different from what we do here. For the first time I saw an intraoral scanner, something that we had not, I was in fourth year then, remember? And it had not been even mentioned in class. I saw an intraoral scanner, which uses laser technology. I saw a milling machine that produces, you know, uh, crowns. I saw Invisalign, yeah, the, you know, the, the technology has, has so advanced that you can actually align your teeth without anybody noticing, yeah? We have those transparent trays that can be placed in the mouth and you can remove them whenever you want. If you have a sensitive uh, event, you can remove them. So I would say, yeah. So you get to learn a lot uh, a in lot. the United States and then yeah. you bring that back home. Yeah, yeah. So, sure. so I promised that. myself when I, when I clear the school, when I go back to, to Kenya, yeah. I would implement the, uh, that here. And uh, yeah, true to that, when I finished, I came back to the fifth year and I completed uh, my my studies and uh, was lucky to be posted to the U University of Nairobi Dental School. So I sharpened my school, uh, my skills more there because I did my internship there for, for one year, okay? And then I was lucky again, the government posted me to Sayre County, Sayre Sub-County Hospital, where I found the, the dental care there was pathetic. Uh, we revived it, we bought new dental chairs, new dental equipment, and then uh, what I noticed is that something like orthodontics or cosmetic dentistry. People really wanted it. The cost was so high, so there was a gap. You know, that's why I decided to venture into this. There was a gap. The cost was so high. People want to align their teeth. People would want to, you know, to whiten their teeth. They want their teeth to be straight and just look nice. 
and uh, smile well, yeah? But you see there was a disconnect. The, 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 the people who could do this, the specialists who could do this, were so expensive. So the common person could not be able to afford. So having worked in Yala for three years, I saw there was a big gap in this, and that's why I ventured in um, orthodontics. And uh, before then, uh, I think when I was in, uh, immediately I finished at the University of Nairobi, uh, my internship, I decided to enroll for clinical orthodontics in India, which I studied for three years, yeah. So it was concurrent with the, my, my working in, uh, okay. with the government. So, so you, yeah. you've talked about, you know, cosmetic uh, dentistry, and some would say, well, you know, it's cosmetic and people just want to look good. But is there something you can tell us um, beyond just looking good about the impact of the work that you do yeah. on your clients? Sure. You see, for example, personally, okay, you can see my teeth. Personally, I had terrible fluorosis, you know, like where I was born. I, fluorosis I is when yeah, the teeth are brown? Brown, stained because of water, okay. salty water, okay. So I was born in the village, raised in the village, and uh, I happened to be using bohol water, okay? So uh, my teeth became very, very brown and almost dark, and they were breaking down. So you can imagine the self-esteem that I, uh, issues that I had, you being the doctor, you're telling people to change their smile, transform their smiles, and your teeth are also not okay. So, yeah, you can see what technology has done to my teeth. Right now, I, I, I smile everywhere <laughs> and with everyone, without, yeah. So it brings a lot of, uh, you know, um, uh, children, when they go to school, when they have such like teeth, they are segregated because like they, they feel like they don't look like they are. So they can't smile, they can't talk. Yeah, so it brings a lot of self-confident issues, yeah. Okay, so yours is, it's beyond looking good, but yeah, it's enabling yeah. people to feel better exactly. about themselves, which, exactly. which, um, which assists with that. So now that we're in that age, and you've talked about, you know, the great use of technology that is, uh, you know, helping you with the work that you do, um, what would you say is um, the most important thing right now um, in the field of dentistry and orthodontics for ordinary Kenyans to be able to pay attention to in terms of their dental health? What I would say is that everybody right now is, you know, uh, the internet age, everybody is seeing what, every, you know, like they're seeing others are wearing braces, but they can't afford, okay? And uh, fluorosis is a menace, especially in Nairobi, yeah? Because people are using, even if you don't use uh, salty water or fr fr uh, water with high content of fluorosis or fluoride, um, in school where the kids go, they, they still take water. And most of those schools have underground water, which is borehole water, yeah? So it has high content of fluorine. So um, kids are having self-esteem issues. Some even don't want to go to school because of, uh, of fluorosis. So fluorosis is a minus, but also diet has changed. So uh, in the olden days, people would not have so much misaligned teeth because they were eating hard food. And they, you know, when teeth are rubbing against each other, they become slender so they can fit the mouth uh, clearly. People are eating biscuits, so <laughs> they're so soft that it doesn't, you know, the mouth, the jaws do not develop so well so that they can accommodate the teeth and they be aligned. So there's a big need because of the diet change and people just want to look good and, you know. Okay, uh, and that's an interesting thing about times having changed. Um, how should people keep our mouths and our teeth healthy? Yeah. From um, Dr. Carson himself. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what I would say is that, uh, personally, I won't lie. Even bef before I went to the university and studied dentistry, I didn't know uh, that, you know, this oral health is, is something that is so important because for those people who come from a disadvantaged background, okay, it becomes a problem because even that toothpaste is not there. Yeah. Sometimes they don't even have brush, yeah. so they use salt. Personally, I used salt when I was young because I grew in poverty, okay? So most people don't know the dentist exists. Mm. So they just know the dentist work when they spin is to go and remove the tooth. Yet, the, the dentist can actually, they don't know the dentist can, you know, conserve the teeth so that they don't remove them by doing something as simple as a filling or root canal, yeah. okay? Also, uh, to mention is that, you know, like, if your mouth is not um, healthy, the rest of the body will not be, because it's a part of entry, yeah? So how your mouth, the gums, you know, when, for example, when uh, um, 
for pregnant women. Yeah, they tend to lose teeth a lot during that because of hormonal changes. The gums become weak, so and the gums are painful. So most of them don't clean, and therefore the cavities come in. You know, they eat sweet stuff, and if you don't clean, you end up losing the teeth because at that time. Uh, the gums are weaker because of those hormonal changes. Yeah, yeah. 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 So uh, important to do that all the way around. Yeah. What so yeah. visiting the dentist maybe at least once a year because it's also visiting a dentist is not cheap. Yeah. So if you can go for consultation once a year, it is recommended. Also, you clean your teeth, a professional cleaning, maybe also once a year to keep your oral uh, environment clean and the gums healthy, the teeth healthier, yeah. and also uh, at least brushing. Uh, most people don't have the time to brush as it is recommended three times a day. But you can do maybe in the morning after the breakfast and in the evening after supper because now you are resting, you can be able, yeah, and then that will improve your oral hygiene right. and oral health. Yeah. yeah, indeed. So you're about cosmetic dentistry and, and heavily using technology, modern day technology that um, you know helps you in the services that you provide. What do you see as your future and the future of Lake Basin? Uh, we've come from far from a, a single unit facility whereby we just u used to be a single room divided into two with a chair and the receptionist, yeah? so you are only two. To now, we have 16 units. I think now we are the biggest dental clinic in Africa, not just in Kenya or East Africa, but in Africa. We have uh, the, the, we've so much invested in technology in the sense that we have five milling machines, and that would mean, for example, somebody who maybe just has an accident and the tooth is broken and uh, we can transform and revert the tooth back to its original status within 30 minutes yeah so that's how much the technology in dentistry has advanced yeah so you come we will look at you do x-ray these things can be done within 30 minutes or even one hour let's give it one hour yeah you come we you know look at the tooth examine it we do the x-ray we'll be able to prepare the tooth scan it uh, mill the crown and then we cement it into your mouth. This was not uh, feasible uh, in the olden days because uh, just recently you would go to the dentist, they would, you know, do the x-ray, all that, and then they, they prepare the tooth and it will force them to give you a temporary so that you can come back after a week or so. Yeah. But now the technology has so improved that sometimes you can break a tooth and you don't meet anybody, they would not know that you broke a tooth. They would still see you as it is normal because the computer is actually able to do color matching of the rest of the teeth and will give you the exact shape, it has memory, yeah? exact shape and shade of the previous tooth. Yeah. Is that technology expensive for your clients? Uh, not very expensive because we allow payment in installments, so it is not very expensive. Yeah. The future of dentistry and orthodontists? Well, uh, our plan, having told you that we've grown that much, yeah. my, my dream is that uh, we make dentistry uh, affordable. Yeah? Technology is going higher, uh, you know, the dollar is rising and it's the, the, the cost of the inputs into the process are becoming more and more expensive. Yeah? The main reason why personally I came up with the Lake Basin, because as I've told you, there was a gap between the demand and the costing. Yeah, people want, but they can't afford. So we came up with this uh, payment in installment so that even the Mamamboga will be able to afford. You know, the Asla, the Boda Boda, they are able to afford this kind of, of treatment. Yeah, My dream is that one day we will have a, a dental institution that is, uh, can train others, you know, train others in technology, maybe sort of a dental school, a private one, so that, um, you know, we can have more and more dentists because we are over 50 million Kenyans with barely 1,200 uh, dentists in Kenya. So, yeah, I think that is my dream that one day we will transform Lake Basin uh, dentist, uh, Dental Clinic into a dental school and a, a training institution. Indeed. Thank you so much uh, for your time and for the work that you've done in such a short space of time and for seeing um, how technology is really transforming um, the space of dentistry. Dr. Kennedy Carson Opio, who's the CEO of the Lake Basin Dental Clinic, joining us here on Power Talk.